I Am Refocused Radio is brought to you by Documation, service that serves. Technology solutions to keep you moving forward. Visit nation.com today. You are listening to I Am Refocused Radio with your host, Shamaya Reed. This show is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. And now, here's your host, Shamaya Reed. Hey, welcome to I Am Refocused Radio. We are here once again. And today, we're going to be talking to a book author, Daniel Essen. And we're going to be talking about his book, God's Phone Number. So without further ado, we're going to learn more about him. But I want to introduce him to the show and welcome Daniel and say, how are you doing today, sir? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you for having me on your show. Yes, sir. So before we get into your book, let's tell the audience a little bit about Daniel. I live in Columbus, Ohio with my family. Um, about three years ago, I uh, started a, a journey that has brought me to this point. I had so many questions. I had graduated from school and um, I was working and uh, I wasn't really so satisfied with what was happening at the time. So I started this journey of wanting to talk to God. I wanted to see him. I wanted to talk to him. I wanted to hear his voice. And um, it turned out, I looked for him in so many places. And it turned out that he was not in the places that I looked for. And it also turned out that the same time I was looking for him, he had already found me. And the same time that I was trying to hear his voice, he was already talking, but I couldn't hear his voice. So it was interesting. Later on, when I found him and I started a conversation with him, I got to love him more. And each and every day, he reveals himself in so many ways to me, and I get to love him more and more. I'm excited about getting to know God and sharing how people can get to know God. And once again, we are talking to Daniel Essen on I Am Refocus Radio. We're talking about the process of him writing his book, God's phone number, instantly talk to God, quickly turn your wishes into fulfilled prayers. When you are taking that action, so let's talk about that, faith in action. You felt you was in communication with God, him trying to get you to start something, and then you take that action. What was the process like when you started to write down all those details in your book? Were you going back and forth, taking time off and breaks in in between? How, how did that process work for you? Thank you for that question. So um, it was the process was all over the place. There were many times that I was driving. I was on the freeway and I had to pull over to the side of the road because there was there were messages coming and I had to write down. There were times that I had to actually make time at home, get to my table, meditate, and then ask God to speak to me. There were times that I was just at the parking lot and the messages would start flowing and I'll pull my notepad and start writing. There were times that I was just at, in a drive drive through waiting for my food to be served and I feel this message coming and then all of a sudden I'll pull up my notepad and start writing. There were times where I was just speaking to my wife and I said, wait a minute, wait, 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 something is coming through. And I'll stop and start writing. And since the beginning of this conversation with God, I have been able to grow myself to the point that I get to speak to God, not at a particular time, literally 24-7, anytime I choose to. And he responds. And I believe that everybody has that right to speak to God. In fact, this right, I call it an inalienable right. It's a right that God himself cannot take it back from us. He wants to talk to us. He loves us so much. He yearns to hear our voice. And he's hoping that you and I and everybody else will hear his voice and will respond. In your book, it paints the picture of basically not just connecting with God, but also is taking you through these steps where you can grow your faith with God. So for the person listening, what are some of the key takeaways 
that you are hopeful that people, when they read this, that they take away from your message? Thank you. So the biggest takeaway that I want people to understand through my book is that, number one, God loves us more than we can ever think of. Even when we're stubborn, he still loves us. And he does everything in his power to reach us, to meet us at a point of our need. He wants us to know him. That's number one. Number two, the biggest thing that stops us from knowing God or hearing his voice is not knowing who he is. Once we find out who he is, we are able to easily communicate with him. So let me take a second to tell you, just give you a brief summary of who God is. And perhaps that might help the people listening to be able to reconnect to God and to be able to rediscover their inalienable rights, their right to talk to God anytime. In the beginning, God created the universe or the earth. Now, there was no Home Depot or Menard or there was no Lowe's for him to get materials to create the earth. Nothing like that existed. So what he did was he created the world with himself. It was through himself that the earth came into being. So the earth itself is made of God. You listening to me, you are made of God. I am made of God. Everything is made of God. We are part and parcel of who God is. And this is not anything new. In fact, Jesus many years ago prayed so passionately, and he wanted us to know this truth, that he is in God, and God is in him, and we are in him, and we are all one. And he desires for us to know this truth, that when we pray, we're not only talking to a God who is in heaven that is hearing us, but that God is literally right within us, outside us. And he is us, and he's not far away. Now, this God that I'm speaking about, everything that you see come in contact with is made of him. So the best way to know him is, number one, to either read about him or watch him. Take a sample of what he has made, because everything that he has made is made of himself. And the, and the best sample that you can ever get is yourself. In yourself lies a chip or a phone that connects to God. Everybody has this phone. And when we watch ourselves, we begin to understand how this phone works. And the way we can watch ourselves, the best way that I have found that we can watch ourselves to understand this sample that is made of God is through meditation. When you meditate, you get to a point over time. Now, I must say, it, it doesn't all happen overnight. You must do this for a little while. But at some point, you begin to get to a place where you understand your own makeup, that you are made up of a conscious being, or conscious mind, a subconscious mind, and a superconscious mind. And related to these three consciousnesses, is a connection. There's a connection. These three consciousnesses, they are always talking to each other. When you watch yourself through meditation, you'll find out that your, your subconscious is always talking to you. And your superconscious, which is made up of God, we call God in heaven, is always talking to us in return. And when you meditate, you are able to break these three beings apart to be able to decipher which message is coming from your own mind, which message is coming from your subconscious mind, and which message is coming from your superconscious mind. When you meditate, God opens up your mind and your level of awareness changes relative to the things that matters to you. So I want to assure everybody that is listening to this message that we all have the right to talk to God and the way to know him it's number one, to read about him. And number two, watch a sample of him, which is yourself. And you do that through meditation. 
when you meditate, you will gain access to that phone or that chip that is installed right in your own head that connects straight to God, and you begin to hear His voice. Not only would you hear His voice, but beyond that, your eyes get to open at some point. You begin to see beyond the realms of the physical. You begin to see the fourth dimension and eventually the fifth and the sixth. Because there are worlds beyond this earth, this physicality that we see. But the only way that you can see beyond this world and understand what is really happening is to watch yourself. You are a sample of God, and within you lies the power that is dormant. You need to rediscover this power. And the only way I have found is through meditation and reading about God. Now, you might be asking, how, how do, what do I read? There's so many resources out there that you can read. Example is the Bible. Or you can read any scriptural note that, you know, um, it's important for you, depending on your religion. Um, there are many books that have been written about our consciousness, our subconscious, superconscious, and our, um, our mind, such as the power of the subconscious mind. These books will inspire you, will redirect you back to the self, and will help you to watch the self and engage understanding of the self. You will not only be able to understand yourself, but you'll be able to understand other people and all things around you. This is because you cannot really know other people and the things that surround you, your business, your family, your marriage. You can't really understand all these things that are important until you know yourself. It's more or less saying that, it's more or less like saying, you can't know what is hot until you know what is cold. And in the same way, you can't know what is left until you know what is right. And so when you rediscover who you are and this phone that connects to God, you get access to knowledge and wisdom that helps you to know what is around you, including your marriage, your business, your friends, anything, your desires, and you'll be able to make you're able to make uh, immediate progress towards the fulfillment of your highest ideals or potential. He guides us because he's the source. He gives us plans, like Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. I have plans for your life, plans to not harm you, but to give you hope in the future. See, Absolutely. hope in the future is is action. Because future, the word future is not here yet. It's something that's coming. And in Bible, it talks about, you know, faith without works is dead. Faith is action. It's not a question mark. It's not a, well, let's just wait here and see what happens. It's something you take action on. And throughout this interview, especially everything that you've written with your book, with the root being the connection back to God, is the connection that he's, he is pushing you to action to what? Follow him and what he has planned for your life. Absolutely. What are some of the things we should be doing as we reconnect with God? Wonderful question. The first thing that I would say we should do is to listen to the authorities that we have, to listen to our scientists who have knowledge about what has happened, especially relative to the coronavirus. The first thing we should do is wear a mask, and we should take care of ourselves by way of eating right, exercising, taking all the necessary precautions that are suggested to us by our public officials. The second thing I believe we should be doing is we should be a part of the solution. In other words, we should preach the message to our friends, our family members, of taking care of, of ourselves, the importance of social distancing, the importance of listening to our public officials. And the last but not the least is we should be seeking the face of God for direction. What do we do next? What do we do? And in that, you will be given as an answer. But in general, I would like to say that all things work together for good of those who love God. There is nothing that is happening now that God 
is not aware or was not aware before it happened. But in all this, he knows those who wait upon him. He knows those who trust him. And it's not because he discriminates, he does not. But to those who trust in him, they will definitely find refuge in him. To those who believe in him, to those who listen to him, and those who understand and follow his person, thousands shall fall on your side, but none will come to you. So first, I would like to say for all those people also who have, you know, lost friends and family members, I... um. My heart goes out to you for those who are listening. And um, nothing, no word can really, you know, uh, satisfy what is happening. However, I want to assure you that God is with you and he knows why all this is happening. And in due time, we will all gain an understanding of why it's happening. We will gain understanding and he's with us. And he would definitely make sure that no matter what happens, we're going to overcome. We shall overcome. We will overcome. Definitely overcome. So let's be rest assured that it is well in his name. And you listen to I Am Refocus Radio talking to book author Daniel Essen. And he's from Ohio. And he wrote an amazing, amazing book, God's Phone Number. Instantly talk to God and quickly turn your wishes into fulfilled prayers. And before we wrap up today, there's there's another point I believe is 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 perfect for us to explore lastly and and that is the question when people are listening to this is when things are are difficult, when you go through these storms in life, the question you have to ask yourself is who are you calling? Because there are other things we try to substitute with God. We try things to help us feel better or we use things to cover up pain. But also in your book, you're also, you're emphasizing the importance of going to the source who have the answers to our problems. Before we leave, touch on that. Absolutely. So the first thing I will say is don't wait till you have pain. Don't wait till you're going through trouble. Don't wait. Start right now to reclaim your access to God. Start right now to figure out how you can discern messages coming from God and messages that are not coming from God. Start right now to figure out your connection with God. Start right now to figure out this phone that sits right in your head that is able to dial God's number. Start right now by reading about God's message that redirects you back to yourself because you yourself, you are a piece of God. And within you lies a connection that connects to the broader aspects of God. When you do that right now, when you go through the storms, it won't even be like there is a storm. The storm will be non-existent because while you may be going through the storm, you will be talking to God at the same time. And when you can talk to God, He gives you strength. He gives you inspiration. He gives you energy. He gives you awareness of what is happening around you and the solution for it. It gives you wisdom. It gives you protection. So if you have all this and you're going through a storm, what then can the storm do to you? Nothing. Nothing. When you are in Christ and you can understand and be able to connect with Christ or connect with God, the storm is no storm. It's more or less like Jesus sleeping in the boat and he was awoken by the disciple. I said, Master, don't you see there's a big storm coming? To many around you, there might be a storm. But you would say, there's no storm. All I see is calmness. So don't wait till the storm comes. Start right now. One of the best places is the Bible. 
or you can get a copy of my book, God's phone number, and you will be led exactly to the steps that you need to take to be able to reclaim your inalienable right to talk to God right now. And when you do that, not only would you be able to go through the storm, I guarantee you, you will then be able to make progress towards the achievement of your potentials, your desires, pretty much anything that you desire. And people are listening and they find out that God's line is literally open 24 seven. You don't have to talk. You don't have to talk to someone that's going to screen the call for you to get connected to him. He's open right now. He is. And when you are building your life, you personally, looking back from where you used to be to where you are today, I mean, you're doing interviews, you're, you're spreading the good message. What do you say to that one person who has maybe doubted God or doubted themselves and their dreams and goals? What do you tell that person who might be in a dark place right now? What do I tell the person who is in a dark place right now? First, I want you to understand that wherever you are, Perhaps you might be hungry. Perhaps you may be broke. Perhaps you may be sick. Perhaps you're going through a legal battle. It doesn't matter whatever you're going through. I want you to understand that God feels your pain. In fact, he feels it way more than you do. It's like before you start feeling the pain, right? God cringes. He cringes his teeth like, ah, wait, I don't want you to do that. He feels your pain. He knows what you're going through. And he's got the solution for you. A lot of times it's hard for us to know the solution because sometimes we feel that we're doing everything right. But you will never really know that you're doing something right until you encounter a higher power that will help you to rediscover the things that you may be doing that may not necessarily be leading you in the right direction. Again, this higher power is not too far away from us. That higher power is within us, around us. It is us. And one of the best ways to access this higher power is you cannot access the phone that you have in your head. Connect with people that will encourage you. Connect with some church or some kind of group that shares the living testimony of God. Hmm. Buy a copy of my book. Start reading it. Get to know about God. Get to know about yourself. You see, God is like a magnifying glass. Magnifying glass. When you put God on top of your problem, you begin to see all the different pieces of the problem and the causes of the problem. When you put God in the places that are dark, immediately there is illumination. So what you really need if you're going through dark time difficult time is to start making immediate access to the Word of God, to directions on how you can eliminate yourself, your knowledge, how you can rediscover your access to God. Start by reading about God. Start by talking to people who will encourage you. And in doing so, I promise you that you will see light in your life. Once again, this is I and Refocus Radio talking to Daniel Essen. And you want to learn more about him and what he's doing, you can go visit his website. That website is callgodphone.com. Callgodphone.com. Once again, I want to thank you, Daniel Essen, for being on this show to encourage people, especially in today's in today's world that we live in. We we need God more than ever. We need to make that phone call. 
now more than ever. And we need to go to the source. So I want to thank you for taking time out of your schedule to talk to I and Refocus Radio today. And thank you so much for having me. God loves you. And to all the listeners, God loves you so much. Let us rediscover, let us reclaim our rights to talk to God. Thank you for listening. And like we say on every single show, keep God first, stay focused, and peace. Thanks for listening to I Am Refocused Radio, brought to you by Documation. Documation is a full-service technology solutions company that provides IT, print, and software-managed services. Headquartered in San Antonio, Documation has been serving customers across Texas for nearly 30 years. Visit mation.com today.